When Zarathustra had said this to his heart, he hoisted the corpse on his back and started on his way. And he had not taken a hundred steps when a man sneaked up to him and whispered in his ear. And behold, it was the jester from the tower. Go away from this town, Zarathustra, said he. There are too many here who hate you. You are hated by the good and the just, and they call you their enemy and despiser. You are hated by the believers in the true faith, and they call you the danger of the multitude. It was your good fortune that you were laughed at, and verily you talked like a jester. It was your good fortune that you stooped to the dead dog. When you lowered yourself so far, you saved your own life today. But go away from this town, or tomorrow I shall leap over you, one living over one dead. And when he had said this, the man vanished. But Zarathustra went on through the dark lanes. At the gate of the town, he met the grave diggers. They shone their torches in his face, recognized Zarathustra, and mocked him. Zarathustra carries off the dead dog. How nice that, that Zarathustra has become a grave digger. For our hands are too clean for this roast. Would Zarathustra steal this bite from the devil? Well then, we wish you a good meal. If only the devil were not a better thief than Zarathustra. He will steal them both. He will gobble up both. And they laughed and put their heads together. Zarathustra never said a word and went his way. When he had walked two hours past forests and swamps, he heard so much of the hungry howling of the wolves that he himself felt hungry. So he stopped at a lonely house in which a light was burning. Like a robber, hunger overtakes me, said Zarathustra. In forests and swamps my hunger overtakes me, and in the deep of the night. My hunger is certainly capricious. Often it comes to me only after a meal, and today it did not come at all. Where could it have been? And at that, Zarathustra knocked at the door of the house. An old man appeared, carrying the light, and asked, Who is it that comes to me into my bad sleep? A living and a dead man, said Zarathustra. Give me something to eat and to drink. I forgot about it during the day. He who feeds the hungry refreshes his own soul. Thus speaks wisdom. The old man went away but returned shortly and offered Zarathustra bread and wine. This is an evil region for the hungry, he said. That is why I live here. Beast and man come to me, the hermit. But bid your companion, too, eat and drink. He is wearier than you are. Zarathustra replied, My companion is dead. I should hardly be able to persuade him. I don't care, said the old man peevishly. Whoever knocks at my door must also take what I offer. Eat and be off. Thereupon, Zarathustra walked another two hours, trusting the path and the light of the stars, for he was used to walking at night, and he liked to look in the face of all that slept. But when the dawn came, Zarathustra found himself in deep forest, and he did not see a path anywhere. So he laid the dead man into a hollow tree, for he wanted to protect him from the wolves, and he himself lay down on the ground in the moss, his head under the tree. And soon he fell asleep, his body weary, but his soul unmoved.